Okay, real quick, this is, video is just for people who need it, who still might be having trouble logging on to Pearson. If you know how to do it, you can skip this one. But anyway, this is the login screen for the Realize Reader app or the Realize Reader um, web page uh, if you're doing it from a, from a laptop or another type of computer. So, again, it should, it would be a little easier if it was just this easy that you type in your name and password and you sign in. However, you have to click this orange button and link down here. Um, don't ask me why, but this is the what we're told to do. Select your school district, so type in Fox. Mine comes up automatically, yours may too, but type in, start typing in Fox and you'll eventually get only a couple options, Fox Chapel area. Click that, make sure it's Fox Chapel area, not Fox School District. Those are the only two things that will come up. When you have the district selected, hit go. You're gonna choose, they're gonna, there's gonna be a screen that shows up, sign in as student or sign in as teacher and you're gonna choose student because you're a student. And then you're going to type in your PowerSchool information, your PowerSchool username and your PowerSchool password. And then this is the true sign-in screen. So you'll sign in and it will take you to your, um, your library of books. You all will have this one here. You may have a math, text, or something else depending on your other classes. But you're going to go with My World Interactive for your book. Now, the books here, this is the cover page. Um, the way you do this, because it's online and you don't have page numbers, easiest thing to do is go to the table of contents again we are in topic eight so you will click the down arrow on topic eight and today you are reading lesson four so you can click the down arrow on that you're going to go through all of these you don't need to do the lesson check um, you have that on school view for you but you're going to click on the first page of it and everything will show up make sure you scroll all the way through the bottom First page is kind of just the guiding questions and vocab, and then go through each one. If you have your tab open, you'll see which one you are on each time. Again, there's the interactive map here. Um, you don't have to do the questions with it, but do click through and, and look at all of these different points on the map. Um, do the same with the interactive chart but keep going through until you get down to the lesson check again don't need to complete that um, but that will all be there for you all right um, and again any more questions on the how to use the book online just let me know there is options again to to listen to it so if you prefer to do that rather than read it you're always welcome to do that all right have a great day